Kids for Character is dedicated with respect and admiration to the memory of Barbara Jordan, a founding board member and national co-spokesperson for the Character Counts Coalition. Kids for Character is brought to you by the Character Counts Coalition, a project of the Josephson Institute of Ethics. Kids for Character was made possible in part by generous contributions from Universal Studios Florida, Sound Deluxe Florida, Century 3 at Universal Studios Florida, The Hasbro Charitable Trust, Lancet Media Productions Limited, The Lions Group, Nelvana Limited, Nick Jr., Scholastic Productions Incorporated, and Sherry Lewis Enterprises. So, think of someone that you really like to be with. What's so special about them? Is it the way they look, or the toys they have, or where they live, or is it something more important, maybe? Something that's inside of them? Hi, everyone. I'm Tom Selleck, and I'm here with the stars of some of your favorite shows and stories to tell you about a very important thing inside all of us. It's called character. But before we begin, I'd like to talk to the grown-ups for a minute. <clears throat> oh, I get it. Some of you didn't want to leave. Well, that's okay, because we're not going to talk about anything you can't hear. You know, as loving parents and caregivers, we all want our kids to have happy lives, good values, and strong character. But good character doesn't just happen. It's up to each of us to lay a solid foundation for character development by exposing our kids to positive messages and, just as important, by acting as positive role models. And that is something that we can never start too early. Kids for Character is designed to help you. So I hope you'll watch it with your children, have fun, sing along, and then talk to your kids about it. Explore the workbook together. Encourage them to be Kids for Character. You know, some of the ideas are pretty sophisticated, but with your help, I think you'll be surprised at how much children can really understand. As a father myself, I truly believe that the best gift we can give our children is strong character formed by basic values. Values that will help them make the right choices throughout their lives. Kids for Character is produced by the Character Counts Coalition. That's a partnership of more than 60 member organizations, including the YMCA, Big Brothers, Big Sisters of America, and the Boys and Girls Clubs, along with many, many more. And along with them, I believe that character does count. All of us will be better off if we instill in our young people the desire to be trustworthy, respectful, responsible, fair, caring, and good citizens. <laughs> oh, hi, kids. I'm glad you're back. You ready? because right now I am pleased to present Kids for Character. Kids for Character, starring The Puzzle Place, Barney, Baby Bop, and BJ, Scholastic's The Magic School Bus, Lamb Chop's Play Along, Nick Jr.'s Gola Gola Island, and Baba. With special appearances by The Cat in the Hat, Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble, Garfield, George Jetson, Kino of Storytime, Madeline, Ronald McDonald, Peter Rabbit. Spot Thomas the Tank Engine Woody Woodpecker Yogi and Boo Boo Introducing Eddie Coker and the Character Counts Kid Michael Sarah Joey Growing very tall. Growing strong is very good. But 
But that isn't all. It's what's inside your head. I'm happy to announce that makes you good to be with. It's your character that counts. It's your character that counts. It's your character that counts. It makes a big difference. So oh, yes, a huge amount. Characters. Not characters, character. What's the difference? There's a big difference. Characters are who we read about in books and watch on TV. Character is the person that you are inside. Character is made up of six pillars. Wait a minute. You're trying to tell me my insides are full of pillows? Not pillows, pillars. Pillars are strong things that hold up other things. Like abilities. These help you to be stronger. And when it's really strong, it helps you figure out what's right from wrong. Wait a second. Six pillars? That's just like our favorite song. There are six simple words that you can use to be a better person if you choose. Six simple words. trust my mommy because she keeps her promises. I can't trust someone that says something behind my back. I can trust somebody that never cheats. Trustworthiness means telling the truth and keeping your promises. It means being honest. Trustworthiness, trust, trust, trustworthiness, trustworthiness, trustworthiness. <laughs> I wish I could trust everybody. I let my friend borrow my book as long as he promised to bring it back tomorrow. I really like to be trusted. Trustworthiness, trustworthiness, trustworthiness. That wasn't so hard. Let's go to the puzzle place. Thanks, Christopher. Oh, hi. I'm Julie Wu from the puzzle place. And I have a question for you. Do you know what 
trustworthiness means? Well, I do. Now. I learned that it's part of having good character. But I had to learn it the hard way. See, it all started one day at the puzzle place. I was in such a good mood, I felt like singing. So I did. <laughs> then, all of a sudden, I saw the most beautiful little purse. Darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. Oh, my, my, my. Ooh, what a beautiful purse. Wow, look at those beads. Oh, and these bells. Oh, this is so pretty. Hmm. I wonder whose it is. I called out to everyone. Hello? Is anybody here? But nobody answered. Well, finders keepers. Mwah. Hey, where's my pouch? Hey, guys. What's going on? Hmm? Oh, we're looking for Sky's special Apache pollen pouch. Pouch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very important that we find it. Oh, wow. This belongs to Sky. <sighs> I mean, I want to do the right thing and give Sky back his pouch, but I also want to keep it for myself. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I mean, I know I should give Sky his pouch back, but. But I love it so much. Mm, maybe it isn't really that important. Yeah. Maybe when Sky can't find it, he won't really care. <sighs> I feel terrible about keeping Sky's pouch. Before, when I was upstairs, I I thought of telling him that I had it, but I was afraid. If Sky knows I've had it all along, he'll he'll probably be angry at me. And I wouldn't blame him if he was. So I snuck upstairs to put it back. Oh, and how will I tell my grandfather? He'll be so disappointed. He explained to me how important the pouch is. Now he'll think I just don't care about Apache tradition. Or that I don't appreciate our sacred ways. But I do. When I saw how much it meant to Sky, I had to tell him the truth. Sky? Hmm? <gasps> my pouch! Julie, oh, you found my pouch! Oh, this is fantastic. Thank you. Huh? Oh, man, what a relief. Uh, Julie, you are a real friend. But oh, I... Tell me where it was. <laughs> Did Nuzzle have it in the basement? Sky, I... I couldn't... Uh, I mean, I tried to, but... Uh, Sky, hmm? I had it. I had it all along. You had it yeah. all along? Mm -hmm. You mean all the time I was looking for it? But, but, Julie, why didn't you give it back to me? Well, I know I should have, Sky, but it's so beautiful, and, and it was just lying there, and... Uh, anyway, you have it now, right? So, so everything's okay. Julie, but you knew this was mine. It didn't belong to you. I can't believe you did that. Sky, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. I'm glad you're sorry, Julie. And, and I'm really glad you gave my pouch back to me, but... But what, Sky? But I'm feeling very angry at you right now. But I couldn't help myself. Sorry, Sky, and I really am. Sky, Sky, are we still friends? I mean, will you still play with me? Of course, we're still friends, Julie, but I don't want to play with you right now. I'm too angry. We'll talk about this later. Sky 
needed time to forgive me and to learn that he could trust me again. Having him trust me as his friend means more to me than having all the pouches on Earth. And that's the truth. Respect is pillar number two. What rhymes with respect? Repet? I don't know. Pipet? I have no earthly idea. <laughs> Correct! <laughs> respect is treating everyone the way you want to be treated. Give me an R! R! Give me an E! E! Give me an S! S! Give me a P! P! Give me an E! E! Give me a C! B! Give me a T! T! What's that spell? B! Respect! Yay! Never make fun of other people when they look different. Wonder what Barney thinks about respect. You. No, after you. No, no, after you. No, I insist. After you. No, really. After you. No, after you. After you. No, no, after Barney. Oh, hi, everybody. Barney. <laughs> What kind of game was that you were playing? It's not really a game, Barney. We were just showing respect to each other. Oh. Today in school, we learned a lot about respect. Respect? What is respect? Oh, hi there, oh, baby Bob. <laughs> Come on in and we'll talk about it. Oh, goody. Hi, everybody. Hi, <laughs> If I'm correct, I do expect you'd like to learn about respect. Yes, I would. Well, when you respect someone, you care about their feelings. And to show respect, you use your very best manners. Oh. That's right, Min. It's important to have respect for everyone you meet. Oh. Yeah, and there are lots of different kinds of people. And lots of different ways to show respect. That's right. <laughs> Whoa, Barney! There's a lot to learn. Oh, it's okay, Baby Pop. The rules about showing respect are really pretty easy. Oh, good. <laughs> This world can be a lot more fun if we show respect to everyone. Oh. Friend to friend and face to face, we can make this a better place. Show respect to others, Whoa. it's very easy to do. Uh -huh. Just be polite and treat them right the way they should treat you. Now, let's do some pretend play to help you understand. Okay. No more teasing. Don't call names. There are other, more pleasing games. The words you speak in someone's ear should be the kind they like to hear. Show respect to others. It's very easy to do. If someone doesn't look the same, don't be shy, just ask their name. After a while, you'll smile so wide when you see we're all the same inside. Show respect to others, it's very easy to do. Just be polite and treat them right. Comes a helping hand. Show respect to others. Yeah. It's very easy to do. Just be polite and treat them right the way they should treat you. These bags are heavy. 
here, let me help. Thanks! Someone else to be nice to are people who are older than you. They've been around for quite a while. Please use manners that will make them smile. Show respect to others. It's very easy to do. can be a lot more fun if we show respect to everyone. Friend to friend and face to face, we can make this a better place. Show respect to others, it's very easy to do. Just be polite and treat them right, the way they should treat you. Just be polite and treat them Right. The way they should treat you! <laughs> Respect! Yay! Oh, no, baby, no. I believe you've got it! Oh, I learned it all, Barney! <laughs> Pillar number three is responsibility. Ability to think and act rationally, and hence being accountable for one's behavior. What? <laughs> Responsibility means doing what you say you'll do. When you're responsible, people can count on you. Always clean up after yourself. That really is important. I'm responsible for making my bed. Responsibility! Wow. Hey, who's responsible for making that such a long word? Eh? <laughs> My dad is responsible. He always gets to work on time. I feel proud when I'm responsible. Let's take a ride on the Magic School Bus and learn more about responsibility. I learned about responsibility the day Wanda and I forgot the keys to the Magic School Bus. And our whole class got stuck in the water cycle. This is really embarrassing, Wanda. It's okay, Arnold. You're with me. What if somebody catches us in here? Who's going to catch you in the girls' bathroom? Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany? Who's Tiffany? I don't know any Tiffany. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, Arnold. I say we don't need this water. As your partner, I cannot do a report on water without water. I'll take the bucket to class. You clean up. Okay. Oh, and don't forget Miss Frizzle's keys. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Arnold. Arnold? Tiffany? <laughs> Tiffany, wait! I can explain! Yikes. I knew I should have stayed home today. I was so embarrassed. I irresponsibly left Miss Frizzle's keys behind. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Frizzle. Oh, everyone ready to find out where water goes and what it does? Ready when you are, Miss Frizzle. Actually, I'd rather hit the surf ride at Waterland. Oh, Waterland, of course. The perfect introduction to our investigation of water. To the bus! Waterland, yay! Uh, Wanda, do you have the keys you borrowed from me? Oh, um, never mind. I have a spare key somewhere in here, I think. <gasps> here it is. And here we go! Wait a minute. I have a hunch. This is not the way to Waterland. This is a field trip! Welcome to the real Waterland! Where everything is water! Even us! Is it just me, or is it getting really warm? When water is warmed by the sun, it evaporates! You mean, we're evaporating? I want to be water again. We still are water, Arnold. 
When water evaporates, it turns into water vapor. It's a gas, Arnold. We've been vaporized. Uh, 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 oh, it's getting cold up here. Hey, I'm on vaporizing. Look at my hands. I'm turning into tiny droplets. That's because we're changing back into a liquid. We are condensing. Water is as water does. Wait! Miss Frizzle, you turned into a cloud. This is fantastic. Duck! <laughs> it's not easy being a cloud. Now, now where are we going? Wherever we're going, it looks to me like it's not our choice. Does that mean that clouds go wherever the wind takes them? In a word, Keisha. Yes! Now we're one big cloud. Class, prepare to rain. <laughs> How do we get out of here? I've got it, Miss Frizzle. Since you're the one who turned us into water, just turn us back into regular kids. Oh, unfortunately, Keisha, I can't do that because the key I used to turn us all into water is also water. Well, don't you have another key? Would you care to take that one, Wanda? <laughs> well, I, um, I borrowed Miss Brizzle's keys when Arnold and I, um, went into the, uh, girls' bathroom. Um, Arnold? I, uh, I... Oh, I left the key in the bathroom. Arnold! But that's not all. I also forgot to empty the sink, and I think I forgot to turn the water off all the way. What if the whole school is flooded? Oh, what are we gonna do? I know, the waterworks. And the waterworks? The real waterworks. It gets water to where we need it. And we are water, and we are needed in the girls' bathroom. And I know how to get us there. Arnold, you're a genius. Even though my irresponsibility got the whole class stuck in the water cycle, I was responsible when I thought of a way to get us out. There's no turning back now. How much further to the girls' bathroom? Um, this pipe should lead to the school. Come on, you guys. is fairness. Fairness, the act of a baseball landing in fair territory. That's that kind of fairness! Fairness is playing by the rules. Fairness is waiting your turn. I share my toys with my brother. When you take turns with people, that's fair. Now that's fairness. Now 
let's check in on Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop? Fine. Do you know what the word fairness means? Yes. Oh, sure. Fairness means to be fair. Sure. To be fair. Good. Thank you. What does that mean? Huh? To be fair. What does it mean? Uh, well, you know, to be fair, it, it really always, um, it, it, well, what it means is, um, don't tell me. All right. Um, um, yum, 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 to be, oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Let me see. It's not there. I must have swallowed it. <clears throat> well, why don't we look it up in the dictionary? Why? Because the dictionary tells you the meaning of almost every word. Really? Uh-huh. See, it says fair. Do things by the rules and treat everyone the same. That's what the dictionary says. That's what the dictionary says? Uh-huh. I can't hear a thing. <laughs> Lamb chop, it's very important you hear this. Why? Because I would like to know that my little lamb chop tries to be fair in everything she does. I do. You do? I do, really. Really? Really? Yeah, what happened the other day? When? When I was trying so hard to fairly share the jelly beans between you and your brother. Oh. Uh. 27, 27, 28, 28, 29, 29, 30, 30, 31, 31, done, done, done. Did everybody listen to me count? Yes. And did everybody get the same amount? Yes. Did I split the bag up like I said I would? Yes. And did everybody get exactly what they should? Yes. No. No. Yes, no. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not F-A-I-R. Fair. Huh? What's my favorite color in the world? Red. How many reds did Charlie get? Six. How many reds did I get? Four. Do I have to say any more? Charlie Horse would be very kind if you would give me one of your reds to put into her bowl, because then you'd both have five years. No problem, Thank Mary. You. Now, you must give him one of yours of another color. May I give him this green one? Is that okay? Yeah. Thanks, Charlie Horse. Hmm. Did I do exactly what I said I'd do? Yes! Did you get the beans that you're entitled to? Yes! And did everybody get an equal share? Yes! And would you say that you were treated fair and square? Yes! No! No! Yes! No! It's not fair! It's not fair! It's not fair! It's not F-A-I-R fair! What's my second favorite color in the world? Blue. What's the color of my glass? Green. What's the color of Charlie's glass? Blue. I think we have some talking to do. Charlie Horse, I know it's asking a lot, but Sherry, you got it. Oh, hey, you guys, guess who's out front? It's Kenny, and he's got his new remote-controlled car, and it's awesome. Hey, I gotta see that. Me too. Let's go. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, guys. Don't you want to take your jelly beans with you? Nah, I really don't like them. Me neither. Actually, I can't stand them. Ugh. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Come on, you. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not F A I R fair. Jelly beans are what they beg me for. So I picked up a package at the store And after I divided it in two Something that is never fun to do I discovered that the jelly bean is not A candy that they really like a lot And I very quickly knew that the trouble I gone through Was a waste and they just didn't care Well that's not fair Oh, I guess that we didn't treat you fairly, did we, huh? Huh. And parents are people, too, you know? Really? Really. Anyway, you should treat everybody fairly all the time. You got it? Got it. Good. And here's what I'd like you to remember about fairness. No, me, 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 me. Let me tell. 
Okay, you tell. To be fair, you have to say, if you play fair, you will have more fun when you spend time with your friends. If you, and you have to say, it's very important to listen to the way other people are feeling. Yes, it's important. And you have to say, give everybody an equal chance and don't take more than your share. That's what you have to say. I don't have to say all that. Why not? Because you just did. Oh, yeah. And it's not fair. <laughs> Pillar number five is caring. Caring! Group hug, everyone! <laughs> Kisses are a great way to show your family and friends how you care about them. I care about my little sister. I did, 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 did. Caring means being a good friend. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I want to be a good friend, but uh, tell me how I show somebody that I care about them. Uh, do I stick gum in their hair? No! Uh, well, well, tell me, what's a cowboy going to do? Nice to people and they'll be nice back to you. Caring! Now I tell you what, let's see how them folks show they care on Gullah Gullah Island. Dinga <laughs> dinga! Citizenship is pillar number six. Citizenship! Ooh, what's that? <laughs> Citizenship means making your community a better place to live. Obey the law. Always buckle your seatbelt. Don't litter. Do recycle. Donate your old toys and clothes to charity. Citizenship! Citizenship is about everybody working together, just like Babar. My tusks! Crocs is here! As I was about to announce. And there's crocs and hippos and... And lions and tigers. Are there any bears? No, Alexander, no bears yet. But perhaps someday. Do you think there's going to be a fight this year, Dad? Hopefully not, Alexander. You see, the Jungle Federation is not about fighting, but getting along. I know it sounds impossible, but there's a good reason we all try to make the effort at least once each year. You see, it all started a long time ago. This is unmanageable. Not to mention impractical and, and, and impossible. But just think what would happen if the first Jungle Federation Council actually worked, Cornelius. I must admit that the vision of everyone working together to build a better jungle is a grand vision, sire. But getting members from all the neighboring families to agree on anything is... <laughs> Pompadour? Uh, uh, yes, sire. Whoops! <laughs> uh, the first item would be water hole access. Right, right! We have no rights with certain oversized reptiles putting their mouths where our fish used to be. Your fish, are they? Item number two. Pompadour? Fishing rights. Well, fish can easily be replaced by fowl. Item number three. Pollution of waterways. We have to toss our garbage somewhere. I believe rhino land is already full. Look at Instead of waving that horn around, why don't you toss your trash into the swamp? His Majesty King Baba has a plan. Well, it's just an idea, but... We could take the rhino's garbage to help fill in the swamp, bring in sand and turn it into a small beachfront on the lake, stock the lake with fish, then the crocs will have their water hole, and the turtles will have their lake. The birds and the rest of us can use the beach and fish all we want. Why? To put an end to these problems, to work together to build a better jungle. Ridiculous. Never work. Too complicated. Item number five. Babar. But there 
There is no item number five, sire. There is now. Saving the jungle. From who? The hunter. He's back in force. None of us are safe unless we join together against him. Well, this is the jungle, Babar. Everyone takes care of themselves, right? So be it. Whoever stands with us to protect our home stays. Everyone else can leave. I do believe some of them looked interested. Uh, but I'm afraid they're afraid of Rataxis. Then I guess it's like Rataxis said. We'll just have to take care of ourselves. The hunter. He started up. Fire! We have to do something. Don't you know it? Rataxis! Come back! Let's go! The fire spread quickly. But with the help of the Royal Fire Brigade, we did our best to save our jungle home. Everybody just hold it! Sire! Sire! It's no use! The wind is shifting! The fire's out of control! Now we can't even help ourselves. Is that so? Well, what happened to your idea about working together for a better jungle? What about it? Okay, are we all in this together? Yeah! Are we all gonna save this jungle? Yeah! Then let's get to work! Although it had taken a great disaster, my dream of forming a unified jungle had finally come to pass. Animals of every description rallied to battle the flames, and together we formed a well-oiled firefighting team. I feared that we would never put the fire out. With a lot of hard work, we were able to get the fire under control. We will leave this spot as it is, a memory of what could have happened to us all. I just can't see your taxes working alongside the elephants, Father. Well, that was a long time ago, Alexander. But it's surprising how people who are different can come together to achieve a common goal. Do you remember the six simple words that you can use to be a better person if you choose? Trustworthiness is being honest, telling the truth, and keeping your promises. At the Puzzle Place, Julie learned that having her friend Sky trust her is very important. Respect is treating others the way you want to be treated. Barney, Min, Tasha, and Sean sang a song that taught Baby Bop all about respect. Responsibility is doing what you are supposed to do and trying your best. Arnold learned that part of responsibility is taking care of things you borrow, like Miss Frizzle's keys. Fairness is playing by the rules, taking turns, sharing, and listening to others. Lamb Chop learned how to share and that kids need to be fair to parents, too. Caring is being kind and thinking about how others feel. On Gullah Gullah Island, James learned that when you care about someone, you need to be nice to them, even when they make a mistake. Citizenship is making your community a better place to live. In the jungle, Babar and the other animals work together to put out the fire. 
Remember, these six pillars make your character strong. They help you decide what's right from what's wrong. We hope that all of you have learned a few things about the six simple words. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. If you practice the six pillars, you can be a kid for character too. Yeah, and just think what a better world it would be if every kid was a kid for character. And be polite. Yeah. Cool. Appreciate your friends for who they are. <laughs> we kids for character. Here we stand. We're unified. Side by side. Let's get together while we can. Come on and take a stand for character. On and on, all across the land. We're hand in hand. The Responsibility in all the things you say and do. <laughs> Just mess up when you mess up. Walk your talk, it shows integrity. Yeah. Be trusted by your friends and Citizen is what you'll be. Club, just ask an adult to help you write to this address. Kids for Character is brought to you by the Character Counts Coalition, a project of the Josephson Institute of Ethics. 
The Character Counts Coalition is a partnership of organizations dedicated to teaching and serving youth, including YMCA, AYSO, 4H, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, Boys and Girls Clubs of America, American Federation of Teachers, and American Red Cross, Boys Town USA, Children's Defense Fund, Family Services of America, Goodwill Industries, National Association of Secondary School Principals, Babe Ruth League, National Catholic Educational Association, National Council of Radassa, National Federation for Catholic Youth Ministry, National Police Athletic League, National Urban League, 92nd Street Y, Points of Light Foundation, United Way, U.S. Soccer Association, Youth Volunteer Corps. Thanks for watching Kids for Character. We believe that. Yeah!